six decades of strong, dynamic and fruitful. To be able to return to this extraordinary country in the forest complex, a water replacing it here and now for both our countries. About 400 members of the Kenya United Kingdom comfortable peace that reside in the darker region of the many links between our two countries. First step under your leadership. We are therefore confident. President Dr. William Ruto. The third. Defense and security. I trust that this visit, after that, you are a veteran visionary. Formal British presence in Kenya was pleased. My name is President, and you will have shared. He was prisoners of the past. Neither can we to receive and host you in Kenya. That through our world-renowned hospitality with Kenyan conservationists, an equal honor thing was brutal and atrocious. I'm Jumbo. Miyachi. Yangu, Kuwa Nani, Juni Adeo. Ladies and gentlemen, my own and my family's special connections to Kenya are but one example of the myriad links between our two countries. The British people hold a deep affection for Kenya and visit in their tens and even hundreds of thousands every year. By the same token, I am delighted and proud that so many Kenyans choose to live, work and study in the United Kingdom. Before traveling here, my wife and I held a reception in London to celebrate the invaluable contribution of Kenyans and British Kenyans to almost every field of British life, from the arts to medicine to academia. I was as touched by their affection for the United Kingdom, as I was immensely grateful for what each of them brings to my country. It is the intimacy of our shared history that has brought our people together. However, we must also acknowledge the most painful times of our long and complex relationship. The wrongdoings of the past are a cause of the greatest sorrow and the deepest regret. There were abhorrent and unjustifiable acts of violence committed against Kenyans as they waged, as you said at the United Nations, a painful struggle for independence and sovereignty. And for that, there can be no excuse. In coming back to Kenya, it matters greatly to me that I should deepen my own understanding of these wrongs, and that I meet some of those whose lives and communities were so grievously affected. None of this can change the past, but by addressing our history with honesty and openness, we can perhaps demonstrate the strength of our friendship today. And in so doing, we can, I hope, continue to build an ever closer bond for the years ahead. As Jomo Kenyatta said, our children may learn about the heroes of the past. Our task is to make ourselves the architects of the future. 